man. We back with it right now, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what the fuck going on. Doing a little hood vlog. Yeah, know, yeah. Man. Yeah. J.U. Dollar Sign Z. Okay. Hey, I got Future TV in South Baton Rouge, nigga. Okay. Yeah, nigga. So where we at with it right now, man? Uh, we, at, we at McKinley High School. Okay. Yeah, the notorious McKinley High School, man. McKinley High School. Labusa went here. Kevin Gates went here. Uh, I ain't go here, bro. I wanted to go here. I, I stayed like right on the little, the, the the border to where I couldn't come here, but I probably it probably was best that I didn't come here because I would have got into way more deeper shit than I would have, you know, would have wanted to. But the culture here, man, it, it ain't nothing like no other. Like as far as the band, it's just like Baby Southern University. The band gonna cut up. The sports, they gonna do their shit, you know. I mean, it's right it's right in the middle of the hood, so like you can't miss it. Like it's a magnet school, so they got smart smart students go here and then they got like they're that terrible thing here too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So is this the most popular high school, would you say, around Baton Rouge? Like this the number one? Yeah, this the most popular high school in, of the past few decades, you know what I'm saying? They got some more popular high schools than them made their name, you know, recently, but Historics, yeah, you you can't miss McKinley High School, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, this 50, 60 years plus, you know? 50, 60 years plus. Yeah. What's yeah. some of the historical things that they, uh, you know, went down over here? Just, you just, just the culture, you would say? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, it, it's a lot of ghetto stores, you know, coming up here. Uh, like I say, bro, oh, one of my good friends, uh, I don't know if y'all remember when they had the box. Yeah. Where well, you call call in all the videos. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think I It was the that. box. Like, you know, like when you was at home, you could call it call on the TV and tell what video you wanted to play or whatever. And that's how artists was eating back then. But my homeboy, this bitch, Warren Snoop Dogg carved that bitch. Oh, word. Yeah, he was, he was like 15 going to this bitch. That dude was bringing that bitch to school on switches. That dude was like a 6'4", you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm talking about done immaculately, you feel me? But when he was bringing that bitch to school, nigga was trying to take that bitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so his pops made him sell that bitch because nigga was plotting to take that bitch from school, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of school this bitch is, you feel me? That's but yeah, like, it's that culture for real. This is one of my street team members. Okay. I do community uh, work in, in the community where we trying to stop the violence. Okay. So we do safe passes here at the school like two, three times a week. I make sure they ain't fighting and shit, you know what oh, I'm that's saying? that's what's up, Shit bro. like that's that, yeah. Nigga shit, though, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of niggas the same, man. If I ain't getting paid, <laughs> you know, they I mean, I do get paid, though. Oh, okay. They, okay. So they got a budget, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, would, I wouldn't say I wouldn't do it if I didn't get paid, but getting paid, definitely some more motivation, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what, what we trying to do is we trying to create more budgets to be able to pay more people like me to get in the community and do the right thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I helped tear this bitch up, so I'm going to try to fix this bitch, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I feel like a lot of people, with the, the bad kids, not even saying the bad kids, the kids that get in a lot of stuff, They'll take advice from you more yeah, so than for somebody sure. that for sure. ain't came from, you know what yeah, I'm saying? For they sure. ain't, I ain't about to listen to this. Right, you yeah, know what I'm saying? They sure. won't talk to somebody that look like them, talk like them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Same kind of demographic, like, I, I ain't gonna talk at them, I'm gonna talk with them, talk to them, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. feel me, you know? Yeah, yeah. I done been through it all, so uh, yeah, they could definitely get some insight from me. That's what's up. I'm about to get some footage of this, Nick Kimby. All right. Senior high school joint. Now, how long you been doing the community service thing here, bro? It's, I'm going, I, I think I make a year in February, bro. Okay. Yep. That's what's up, bro. That's what it is. Shit, shit. All right, where we at with it? Oh, we still in that bottom, you know. Okay. Them foes, it's that foe shit, no whole shit, you hear me? Yeah. It's uh, Tennessee Street in East McKinley. Okay. So, all right, Tennessee Street, just like a strip, you know what I'm saying? That bitch go, go all the way up the hill. That's my auntie house up the hill, you know what I'm saying? That bitch notorious, yeah. you feel me? But this like, well, um, Big Row, when when uh, when uh, Booster say, uh, mad as a motherfucker, cause Big Row just died. Oh uh, yeah. That's my good friend, daddy. Self-made core and Duke, like, you know, he was probably like one of the first, first notorious done daughters from this bitch that was putting on and throwing bottom bash and shit. And, this was they block. This that you know what I'm saying. This was everything going down. Oh, uh, we out there 50, 60 deep, and the police used to be coming out here fucking with us all the time. So we don't really be outside no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, um, back in like 08, 09, I got shot right here in the middle of this street, right here. Right here by the school. Yeah, right here by the school. I mean, cause this like this our block, you know. Okay. Yeah. Like this whole strip, like you know, I mean the whole neighborhood. You feel me? But when we was, you know, this is where we would be. So I think uh. Hold on, X. 
So we was like in a group, in a crowd right here, just talking, I'm talking about a record that I had with Gates, you know what I'm saying? And he was uh, finna put the single out, and uh, it made other people from around here kind of come out, and we just was conjugating, you know, thugging in the street. Yeah. Shots just went off, boom, 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 boom. Right here. Right here, them yeah. the first one hit me. Okay. You heard me, first one hit me, I know what I'm saying? And I had to kind of help him get around the corner. Um, so it was coming from like, it came from that way. They was like in some bushes or something back there. See back, see back there where they got that fear. Yeah. They had houses and in in some bushes back then. Back then, you know what oh, I'm saying. Okay. So okay. I think they was they was in the bushes or some shit like that. Damn. But man. really on some shit, they it wasn't no like target. Like oh, okay. they just was new as a crowd of niggas or some niggas they probably ain't like or one nigga they ain't like. You know what I'm saying? And oh, okay. They shot off in the crowd and we just so happened to get How hit many type shit. Like, it was like about, oh. about ten to twelve people. About ten. Okay. Yeah, about ten okay. to twelve people. Because uh, what, what ended up happening was they had a house right here. This house gone. But when I fell in the street, the nigga kept shooting at me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, word. So, yeah, so I had to get up. And But by me getting shot in my ass, I got shot in my ass. And the bullet still stuck in my groin and my leg. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But it made my leg go dead. So when I tried to get up and run, I couldn't run. So I had to, like, crawl through the grass. Yeah. And you see, look at that orange house. You see how that bitch, like, off the ground? Yeah. So I, I rolled under the house. That's how I got away from the nigga, you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Damn, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, I know about this. So, like, oh, okay. uh, Wiener Sniff. So this, like, a, a, a south side hood, you know, cornerstone. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. nigga, when we ain't have no, like, no money to like really eat or you know get something nigga you can walk the wiener snitzel right here and get you a, a chili dog special two two chili dogs and a fry for 250 oh, with okay. a drink yeah nigga you nigga we was that shit was getting us through our days nigga you heard me you know what i'm saying but them bitches hired now somebody else then bought them bitches out now them bitches like five six dollars for the same meal you know what i'm saying you know everything go up but I remember like, yeah, like that was a thing where you could walk the Wiener Snitch and go get your fucking hot dogs and just like, you know, even like, and this is the only location in the whole city. So like when when people want to come down here, they make sure they come to Wiener Snitch, you hear me? Yeah, so this like the spot, even like after the games and shit or football games, it, this is like everybody. Yeah, this shit lit. All right, so come walk to the street with me. I'm, I'm going to show you what how this shit really crazy though. Okay. You see how we in the hood? Like yeah. this, 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 this South Baton Rouge, this, the, that faux shit. This the bottom, and then you go up the way, they got the top where TBG from, they call it Uptown or the top. Okay. But like, if you shoot this way, that's all LSU. Wow. Yeah, like, no, the LSU campus start where CVS is. So, if we looked over that building, all these are dorms right here. If we look over that building, LSU Stadium right there. When we go down to cross the track, you're gonna be able to see the stadium from here. Okay. So like when we hit when when you when they score touchdowns, nigga, you can hear that shit right here. Damn. Yeah, like, yeah, this that real culture. So like, all right, niggas from the neighborhood, they be breaking in the cars during the game. You see what I'm saying? They know they got the money. Right, so like, all right, imagine. When game day come, people come park all in the, in the, in the hood and in the street. So oh, yeah. they got a nigga who, like, if you stay on that street, you can make four, five hundred dollars on game day just selling parking in your yard. Yeah, yeah, shit like that. That's crazy though, cause I, like, I feel like when, when, when it's like hood, um, I ain't even gonna say hood, but when it's like, when it's an like HBCU, that's where the hoods usually be at. Right. But LSU is that a, bitch in the dollar. middle of the hood. Yeah, like that's that's. Different. Man, I'm talking about it's two different worlds though. Like you right here, as soon as you cross there, that bitch feel like a whole nother world. You gonna be in like it's luxury over there. Yeah. I'm talking about not 30 seconds away. And yeah. This right here, this still the bottom right here. Yeah, this the bottom. Okay. This Highland Road. When you talk about here, people talking about that Highland Road. This yeah. Highland Road. Okay. Damn man, that's what it is. Shit, shit. I ain't hear you. Oh, okay. It's all good. What's what's that, one, brother? What's going on? Okay. We out here. What's, what street is this? This is West Garfield. Okay. Right by Roosevelt, across the track. Okay. This is where um, I used to hang with Booster. This is Grandma's house. It got knocked down, though. I, I ain't been over here in so long. I didn't even know the house was gone, son. Okay, so this is the in the, in the, the documentary you had back in there when he was yeah. on the ground. Yeah. I wiped my ass with 50. What he said? Yeah, I find a 50. You find a 50 in this bitch, I'm pussy. Yeah, so yeah. That, where was that at? That was over here. Okay. I think that was like right by the park on Roosevelt. Okay. But that was across the track over here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Shit, his best friend, Kay. 
and his family grew up in that house right there. Okay. Me and Kay used to be fighting back in the gap. <laughs> I, I was boosting one best friend and Kay was the other best friend. Kay ass had did something to me I can't say on camera, you heard me. We, yeah. we, we had about three fights. Booster used to be mad as fuck with me. We used to be, I ain't gonna lie, we used to be fighting everywhere. We had, we had a fight over here one time. Yeah. We had a fight in Blanchard's Co. one time. Man, we I think we had a fight in the club another time. We used to be getting it on. And then my homeboy, uh, Marcus and uh, his brother, they stayed down there. He played basketball at McKinley. He was a star. Like, man, it's just, you know, this bitch gonna make or break you. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, this bitch gonna make or break you. This, but. this shit, this shit, um, it's quiet though, man. I guess it's, it's calmed down. It's, it's quiet down. now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you gotta understand, like, when the turmoil going on, it be so much going on to where it be frequent police activity to where they make you can't, you know what I'm saying? They make it so uncomfortable the way you just don't be around there no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So where does where does that track set? The shit. That what we crossed the tracks when we came over here. When you okay. came when we came across the tracks? Yeah. That's the tracks. Okay. That's basically what they're saying. We can walk up there and I'll show you. Uh, Remember when um Booster for my thugs album when they had all them niggas on the track and oh, the, yeah, with Webby. Well no, this is No, this this before he ever did a um this when he first got with Trill. That's okay. his first album, For My Thugs. I think it's a green and yellow C D. But um he had all the niggas from the bottom, all the niggas he fucked with. They was an all black on the track right here. Yeah. And they took the, they took that notorious picture, you know what I'm saying? I was talking about it was a song I remember him and him and Webby had Jabo Jeans on and it was on the track, I think. Yeah, oh, that's uh, that's uh, that's a little later, but that was on this track too. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a little later in his career. I forgot what song that was. That's when he was doing uh, like a, uh, what song that fucking is, boy. Oh, I can't think about it. Don't make me laugh. Yeah. But yeah, that's these bitch. And another thing, like, why, why Webby? People ain't really know Webby like that back then. No. He was from another, was from another side. Webby from, from Sherwood. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. like, you know, with um, Shellwood Martin and Scotty Kane and um, Sean Thing, all them from Shellwood. Like, I ain't gonna see Shellwood a notorious hood now, but back then, Shellwood was like his own little world. Yeah. Like, it's like, cause it's in like a corner of Baton Rouge that don't nobody really go to. So that's, they, they in their neighborhood, big as a bitch. Yeah. And they bought that, you know what I'm saying? But they ain't really start making no noise until like about. 2000, late 2010, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's when they started to make their noise, but Webby was the first one to like really blow from Shellwood, you know what I'm saying? And he put, I, I think I, I think you could give Webby credit for putting Shellwood on the map. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Cause I remember back in the day, he was like, he was the nigga that I was like, yo, he, he the one. But oh, yeah. niggas is like, Boosie's the one. I, I couldn't see I that mean, first. Well, I mean, well, I think what they were saying was, Boosa had the influence as far as like he was the real deal, authentic street okay. nigga. Yeah. So people, you know, people gravitate to Boosa. You know what I'm saying? Boosa's just a star. You feel me? Yeah. When you was right about Webber being the one to do it with the music. Yeah. Like as far as that flow, girl, get, girl, content, I mean, man, man, you can't, you couldn't, you could he was undeniable, bro. Yeah. Them records he had back then, that shit was undeniable. You know that what I'm saying? Child, Boo ain't even had them yeah. records, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, you gotta think Boo. Biggest records was like Zoom and Wipe Me Down, you know what I'm saying, back then. And it's like, Webby crossed over. Yeah. Like, you know, it's hood music that he got, he he learned to deliver it in a way that the world could receive it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like to receive bullshit, you got to really be from that. You know what I'm saying? Webby was painted in a way like, oh, I get it. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't been around it, you ain't going to really feel boo on no, um, like, nationwide level because it's going to be so authentic and street. Webber shit was authentic, but he was putting that, that 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 vibe to it. You know what I'm saying? Like it just it just made sense. I ain't gonna lie, cause like you know that that's the era I grew up in, and I I used to I used to be creating around Webber, and when I would hear Webber do a complete song, he would always make me feel like, oh bitch, you ain't there yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. like yeah. he'll make you feel like that. Like oh, Yo, you gotta go back to the drawing board. Yeah. Cause he just had it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I seen a post. Um, that was like that was basically saying like. Yo, why, if YB can make a grown man crash out, talking about John Moran, a nigga yeah. that's worth 200 yeah. M's, you know what I'm saying? Damn, how influential is this shit to niggas that, that don't got it? You see the so influence. How, so how influential was that music back then, man? Like, hearing G shit, hearing 
you know, set it off, buy it up to the top, all that Man, shit. Man, that, 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 shit, that shit gonna change your life. That shit, you gonna make a decision. Like, you either gonna, you gonna jump out the poacher, you gonna stay on that bitch. But if the, if the music is, like, influencing you that much, it's gonna make you jump out the poacher. Even if you ain't that kind of nigga, like, it's gonna make you go see about if you can be that kind of nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's that intriguing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, yeah. And it's crazy that it, it, it get called as glorifying it, but it's like, I ain't really glorifying it, but I'm a survivor of some shit I shouldn't be surviving. So it's like, I gotta talk about it, and if y'all taking it like I'm glorifying it, that's just what it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna ask you one more joint. I know, um, you know the dude Hot Boy Major, right? Yeah, that's my dog. Okay, yeah, I seen him. I seen him do the interview with Real Tune. Yeah, he from the South, too. He be, yeah, all of us from the same section, you know what I'm saying? That's that South, you know, we ain't got nothing but stars through this bitch. We just, we don't really know how to stick together. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We got a crab in the bucket at that city, you feel me? Yeah. But, I, yeah. I, I seen he he did, he did said something about Kevin Gates that what, went real viral. What did he say? Back in the day, he said that uh, Kevin Gates caught a body before his uh, before he got on. It went real viral on real too. I don't know. I mean, I know. Oh, uh, I, 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 I would guess that's possible. I mean, uh, I wouldn't speak on nothing like that because I, I, I don't know the details, and I just wouldn't even put that out there in the universe like oh, that. Yeah, I feel. But what I can say is, being from Baton Rouge, yeah, you have been smacked something before you made fifteen or sixteen. Yeah, that's it, you have man. been smacked something like for real. Fifteen to sixteen. Yeah. Like, the, these kids that I work with in high school, yeah. like, you know, we trying to prevent fighting and shit, and, you know, I be talking to some of them, but it's like some of them that I, I could see through their soul, I know they already got one. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know he got one. He ain't even got to tell me he got one. I know he got one. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. yeah. And then the teachers, the teachers don't understand why they can't, you know, get to him, or he really just going to school because he got to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I see them in a different light, and, I, and I, that's why I be talking to them and letting them know, man, if you need some resources, I got you, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like, for a person that's, that's like that, that's deep in it, at a young age, what's the best way, you know, to get over that? You think it's just experience? Like, they got to, I mean, you can tell a person so much. Yeah. But, okay. well, well, from what I see, it's about opportunity. Mm -hmm. If you can give a nigga an opportunity to change his life, you can give a nigga to the funds to do the shit he need to do, he won't do the shit that he was doing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas just don't have the opportunity, so they just keeping up the same repetitive, you know, um, behavior type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I feel like if, I feel like if you could cut, if you could cut a nigga water on or off, you could control what he's doing. Cause at the end of the day, if he, that's his livelihood, you could say, man, if you keep doing that, I, I, I can't keep making sure these chicks come. Mm. Just like the stimulus or PPP, you know what I'm saying? Like, just look how the, the work, man, everybody fell suit with that shit. So what if the government was like, all right, we'll keep doing that if y'all don't, if, if y'all homicide right now. If they can give all cities millions of dollars if you can keep your hom homicide rate down, niggas will stop killing. Mm, so that's a money thing. Niggas broke. Niggas, niggas got broke, bro. Time on their niggas broke, bro. That's it. Nick time. Yeah. I had a time the devil playground. Yeah. You feel me? All right, we're going to go see G. This is the Boulevard. You know, you ever heard of Boulevard Mayor? Yeah. Yeah, this is where he from. This Boulevard the, Quick and all that. Boulevard Quick. See all this? Nigga, this the Boulevard for real. How, look, how, how many? Look, come back around this way. See, see like one of them side streets? Uh -huh. Back in the gap, if you go if you go in one of them cuss nigga, man, all them niggas on the Boulevard will be coming out that bitch 40, 50 deep, all out ditches. Catch sales, you know. I ain't gonna lie, this bitch was like the closest thing to like, like Ray for M and them in DC when they uh, had that strip. Yeah. Yeah, this bitch was like this at one time. So Boy, how you long go, is the Boulevard joint? Like, is it like five minutes to? Man, like this bitch host? go all the way down to where I got shot at. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? But when you cross, but when you cross Washington, it, it becomes the Boulevard. Yeah. It's not the Boulevard in the bottom. It, it's just the Boulevard up here. So, all right, this the boulevard, and then everything this way and up that way is the top. Okay. It's, 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 the, it's, the, it's the top of South Baton Rouge, what they call uptown. So I, I, we was on the bottom, and then we went across the track. Now we're on the boulevard going up. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Because look, it's uptown because uptown this way, downtown where the state capitol, look, you can see the state capitol. Okay. You see the top of that shit at the top of this house? Yeah. That's the state capitol. 
So that's downtown. So you downtown and you go up the way you uptown. Okay. That's why they call it that. And you know, we we came up on that cash money shit, so when when cash money was screaming uptown, everybody from the top, we was rock, rocking throwbacks and shit. We want you know, we wanted to be like them, so we we always called the um the top of South Baton Rouge the top. That's where TBG Gorilla come from, Top Boy Gorilla. Yeah. I used to be with I and them, we we all of them started that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think this is where G um Mural was. I don't know if it got towed down or the or the city made them take it down or something. Yeah. But yeah, you can see the in in memory of G right here. In memory of G. It was a big ass, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, why you feel like like why was that G Money situation so big in the city though? Like you, I mean, cause when everybody, I've been going on documentaries, everybody bring up the G Money situation. I mean, G you know, was, especially in Louisiana, the hip hop, I mean, Baton Rouge hip hop. Scene. It was just an unfortunate situation. You know, G was really talented. G was a good nigga, good spirit. So you like, ran into him? I knew G. G was my dog. G was my dog. Like, I just, I hate that about us. Like, because I know a nigga, we all, we be at the studio together and we like, we gonna, we gonna come back and do the song. Never go back and do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or it's like because you know a nigga so well, you be putting him off on the burner. Like we, that shit gonna get done, but you'll go run and get another feature done. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I did that, and I feel like I missed buku opportunities to get music done with G. Yeah. Just because we just was on some nonchalant shit, like it's gonna get done and then didn't get done type shit. You know what I'm saying? But we, I used to be in the studio with him all the time, just not recording. We be in that bitch shooting the shit, talking, smoking, doing what we doing. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. How, what was the city like? Do you remember like back then when, when that situation happened? Like, do you remember how the city was? Like, city was tore up behind G getting killed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like it was really unfortunate, bro. I, I feel like we all felt like it ain't have to be that serious. You know what I'm saying? But you you can't you can't case what other people going through and like why something is as serious as it is. But mm -hmm. I like, for my city, I don't like to see nobody at odds and like killing each other or whatever it may be. I feel like all that shit could be ironed out at some point. As long as it ain't no blood spill before the blood spill, yeah. that shit could be taken care of. You don't of. think it was nobody that was that could be in between of them? And you know, make them come together. I believe. I, together, I, I believe. Though. I believe it's always some niggas involved that can smooth it out. I just feel like niggas just don't do it. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like sometimes niggas just be having like the wrong influence in their ear. You know, like they might have a positive influence in their ear, but the wrong influence is what's getting to them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I feel like because I, I know niggas listen to me, right? Mm -hmm. Like I got I got an influence on a perspective. But if I could tell you do the right thing, do the right thing, and then you go around the corner and go with such what's my call and he tell you do something or you know be trying to get you to fuck with something and you fuck with that, it's like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm trying to get my whole city to understand like, bro, it's up to us, bro. Like, man, if you see me out there like trying to give back, fucking with the community, like trying to stop gun violence, I ain't saying, I ain't saying don't be no street nigga, don't thug. I ain't saying don't sell drugs, don't be a criminal, like. But I'm talking about the killing, like, I mean, if you got a disagreement, why we can't just have a fist fight? Mm. You beat me up, I beat you up, we both go home. Yeah. I'm saying with them guns involved, that shit be going left. I, like I told you, I do this, um, the um crime, the um gun violence intervention out here. So I get, I gotta get dispatched to murders and shit. I just got dispatched to a murder right here three days, three, four days ago before I left to go to Houston. A 56 year old nigga got smacked with that bitch. So, and I believe some youngster smacked him with that bitch. He on some shit like he trying to come home from jail and tip shit. Like, yeah. oh, I'm extorting niggas or y'all need to be scared of me. Ain't nobody scared of you out here. Those young youngsters came and flipped you in the rain. Damn, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just came home. 50, 56, just come home, you still thugging, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, if we got niggas that old still with the same mentality, man, we got to do something different out here, you know what yeah, I'm saying? you just did time. How long, how long was he, he was locked up for? I don't know how long he was locked up, but I, I know he was going back and forth type shit, you know what I'm saying? All right, that's bad. That's not bad. All right. Yeah, but this that Boulevard, bro. Yeah. Boulevard. So uh, Fredo Bang, he from, he said he, if he. Well, Fredo from, I believe Fredo family is from top of South Baton Rouge, the top, TBG. Yeah. And you know, that's the record label he with, so that's his affiliation. But okay. I believe he grew up in Baker. Okay. From what people tell me, I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not 
that familiar with how he grew up or nothing like that. I just I just know that's what people say from Baker or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Him and my dog Joe Scott, they fuck around tough. You know what I'm saying? I know Joe from Baker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, but you know, Fredo be out here too. That bitch, will, that bitch will be out here. Pull up. Yeah. That's you. And you say you missed the opportunity to get a song with G. Yeah. But you, Same thing with Fredo. We um, G used to be at the studio with Fredo. I, yeah. I, matter of fact, I had a song called You Dig. They were supposed to jump on. I didn't have a session. And uh, when I went to go back to get the session type shit, we just couldn't get on the same page. It just yeah. be it just be little shit like that. How did, how did your, you and the young boy enjoy? How did that happen? They, they were just like on some shit. Y'all both in the studio? Not well, right um, he was working with Q Red at the time, the producer. Yeah. And Q Red was my engineer, and I knew he had a relationship with him. So I was like, man, hit him up, see what I get a feature for. Yeah. He ended up doing that bitch on a little number. For free. It wasn't free, but oh, it was okay. it was basically free. Yeah, yeah. It was a little number, like some. You say? Uh -huh. It was back in the day, so. Man, he did it for like 300. Oh, yeah, that ain't like, like, a video. I tell you the truth, like 300 and about 10 perks. You hear me? Some shit like that. Some some street shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you ain't never said that before. Yeah, I, you know, I gave you I gave you a jewel with that one, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, about 310 perks, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But that's some street shit that, you know, like, you know, it wasn't really a payment. It's like just something for your time type shit because you know I ain't got, you worth way more than that. Yeah. And I don't have that to give you, but I got a few hundred in my pocket and if you take perks, I got them too. So, huh. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And then I think I told on another um, thing, like when he took the perks, I think he had took too many. Them bitches had then went to fucking up his stomach. He couldn't even record. I had to go get him some milk and shake him back. Oh, really? Yeah, because, you know, he was young at the time. He might probably about 17, 18. Yeah. And, you know, them was shit, them real deal perks, them bitches be on you. So he was, like, not over there, not feeling good. And I'm like, I'm finna go get you some milk. He ain't believe the milk was gonna shake him back. That nigga drunk that milk, that nigga up. Oh, let's go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Shout out to YB, though, yeah. All right, that's the bet. We signing out this joint, man. Already? All right.